Welcome back, Wastelanders. Today, we've got an exciting lineup for you. In this video, we're delving into the 12 latest and greatest Fallout 4 mods that you absolutely need for the first week of November 2023. From gameplay enhancements to stunning visuals, we've got it all covered. Let's jump right in. First, there's an intriguing quest-related mod that might catch your interest. America Rising 2, Legacy of the Enclave. This mod serves as a sequel to America Rising, A Tale of the Enclave, and allows you to aid or hinder the Enclave's construction. This quest mod seamlessly integrates 24 main story quests into Fallout 4, offering meaningful player choices. As you progress, the base is restored and evolves, unique characters make significant appearances, and you'll have access to new Enclave equipment, settlement decorations and skins, along with several new locations and world spaces, guaranteeing you a great deal of enjoyment. I personally played through the early stages via a live stream yesterday. And, while I don't want to give away too much of the story, I found it quite engaging, right from the start. The immersive dialogues between NPCs allowed me to stay focused on the story. If you've been on the lookout for a new narrative, America Rising 2, Legacy of the Enclave might just be the answer. Next up is Caves of the Commonwealth. This mod adds new cave locations and quests to the Commonwealth. It utilizes custom audio, textures, and animations, providing balanced looting and lore-friendly background stories. It offers about two to four hours of gameplay. With five new cave locations, custom textures, and material replacements, as well as five lore-friendly quests, you'll find unique weapons, clothing rewards, and custom textured hidden item rewards that are sure to pique your interest. Explore the Commonwealth, Seek out these new caves and quests, and embark on an adventure. In this segment, we'll introduce you to some recently added weapon mods. First up, we have the M45 Laser Designator. This mod adds a functional laser designator, enabling you to provide direct artillery and transportation support, as well as calling in serious strikes on targets that require a little extra firepower. This special scope allows you to request Minutemen artillery strikes, Brotherhood Vertibird transport, and Institute synth teleportation. Additionally, you can use HE cruise missiles and tactical nuclear warhead modules for specialized attacks. You can choose one of these options through the weapon workbench for modification. And keep in mind that the artillery option consumes ammunition with each use. It's a bit of a game changer. If you find yourself struggling in the Commonwealth, consider giving this mod a try to turn the tide in your favor. Next up, let me introduce you to the MW2022 MCPR300 Barrett MRAD mod. Uploaded to Test Nexus just two days ago, this is the latest sniper rifle edition. It brings the MCPR300 from Modern Warfare 2 2022 into Fallout 4, featuring the exact same model, textures, sounds, and animations from the original game. The feel of using the sniper rifle is quite satisfying. It comes with a pistol grip, foldable bipod, and even allows you to attach a tactical laser. The sound of the sniper rifle is a bit on the quiet side, but I believe it was the same in the original game. Personally, I've been using FTS primarily lately, so it's a bit disappointing that it's not supported, but if you're a fan of Modern Warfare, adding this mod could be a great choice for you. Next up is the R101 Carbine. Originally featured in the game Titanfall, this rifle is well-suited for mid-range combat. Its overall appearance, including the sight, gives off a futuristic vibe. The recoil of the gun is relatively low, and the sound it produces is decent. With modifications, it can use Gauss rifle ammo. The blue laser sight adds a unique touch to its design, making it a stylish rifle. Next up, we have MW Eagle by Warfighters Workshop. This powerful semi-automatic pistol uses a 50 caliber, and its sound and gun recoil animation are impressively well executed. When used in conjunction with the recently uploaded sound rework, it becomes an even more formidable pistol with a thunderous sound. If you're interested in this mod, be sure to give it a try. You'll experience the thrill of mowing down enemies in Fallout 4. Next up is the BPRE AR. The BPRE AR-15 is a firearm inspired by the one featured in the comic series Black Powder Red Earth, and it's based on the Honey Badger. The sound and animation strongly resemble the Honey Badger, and it offers a decent range of customization options, making it a solid choice for your arsenal. 
Next up is the SIG MPX Armory Project. It's part of the SIG MPX series. For those who have been using the Armory Project to diversify firearm customization, adding this series to your collection would be a good idea. It introduces various customization options such as magazines, suppressors, scope mounts, and more. Next, I'd like to introduce a mod that might pique your interest in terms of gameplay. AutoBeam, True Laser Sights Framework 1.6. I've mentioned this mod before, but with the improvements in the 1.6 version, I wanted to bring it up again. This mod enhances laser sight attachments by automatically aligning the laser beam or dot with your crosshair and applying it to NPCs using an F4C plugin. In the past, this didn't apply automatically and some modification work was needed through knife files. However, after updating and testing it yesterday, I found that now the laser sight is automatically applied to all weapons without the need for those knife adjustments. For those who already know, this might not be new, but I wanted to mention it again for those who may not be aware. If you like this feature, give it a try. Next up is the Diverse Gunner and Raiders mod. While they are separate mods, I'll introduce them together since they share the same creator and have similar functionalities. These mods add diversity to the appearances of Gunners and Raiders. In vanilla, Gunners had 13 different faces, and Raiders had 14. But with these mods, it increases to 35 for Gunners and 40 for Raiders. Particularly for Gunners, the mod aims to balance the gender ratio more evenly. If you've often found it unnatural to encounter the same faces among Gunners and Raiders, using these mods might be a good idea. This time, we have the girls' Frontline 2 Karalik outfit. As the title suggests, this outfit adds the Karalik outfit from Girls' Frontline 2 to the Commonwealth. It features a gray suit with well-balanced orange armor, giving it an appealing overall look. The shield attached to the left elbow is particularly striking. Additionally, the texture transition from gray to orange at the knee area is beautifully implemented. While the outfit was showcased using the Nanako race on the introducing site, it also fits well with my custom race. However, I was a bit disappointed that there wasn't a helmet with rabbit ears. Nevertheless, it supports its own body slide files, and the outfit itself feels like a good fit for this game. If you like it, give it a try. And that wraps up our showcase of the top 12 Fallout 4 mods for the first week of November 2023. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more exciting mod highlights. Thanks for watching, and happy modding!